Hello and welcome back to Yakuza 0. So we've been doing business things as a businessman, but as you'll see now, we have to wait for this payout and there's not really anything to do. I mean, we did our last postcard. I suppose we'll go and see whether we won. And then after that, I think I might go to the pier. This is an area we haven't gone to yet and we have multiple reasons to go there. We have to go there for um, training in beast style and we have to go there to fish. So let's do this. Yes, yes. Did we win? That's all I want to know. We did win! Hello, Dulce Kayama-san. Hello! Love your show, regular listener. Thank you! The other day, I became friends with a dominatrix who works at an S&M club. Whoa, this is getting juicy. She said she wasn't good at berating people, so I ended up teaching her how to do it. Really now? Tell me more, Judgment Kazikun. There was a problem, though. I don't know very much about S&M, so it was pretty challenging. I learned a lot, too. Oh, really? And what all did you learn? Yes, does S&M interest you, Dulce Ke Kimiya san What a weird thing to ask. Judgment Kazikun says he doesn't know very much about SM, but he took on the challenge anyway. That's what I call taking the dominant position. <laughs> but could there really be a dominatrix who's bad at berating people? Please mail me the num name of the club where she works and seal that envelope, if you don't mind. <laughs> As for me, I don't care f much for S or M. The only thing that whips me up is you. Whoa! That's the second time Judgment Kazakun has, has had a postcard featured on the show. Hi. If you get in there three times, you win a deluxe gift worth a cool million yen. Keep your postcards coming, listeners. Oh, it's time already. Too bad, too sad. But that's our show for today, folks. See you next time. Yeah, we won. Mr. President, is something the matter? Uh. Uh, yeah, I mean, no, it's, uh, nothing. Hey, now all we need to do is get the uh, final one there and we're good. Uh, did, have we got another business thing yet? Not yet. Alright, I think it might be time to go to the pier. We have a lot of money, and it's time to go try, try something else for a little bit. So the thing we need to, says we got another event in here? Really? Not that. I had two postcards read on the air so far. One more to win that million yet that deluxe million yen prize. All right, I just need a story that will make it on air. I don't have anything, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, that should be us, I think. Maybe. Let's see. Map. I just want it to tell us that we're. Good. We're not good. So, does it tell me there's still something in here, or is it just telling me but that's the same thing? Let's try it one more time. It might not be here, but I just want to see whether anyone else wants to speak to us. No. Nope. 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 Okay, cool. Nobody else wants to speak to us. Time to leave, then. We'll try the building next door just to double check that that exclamation mark is not because of that. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just saying our business is here. Right. If she hadn't jumped backwards, we wouldn't have run into her. What's up with the people these days? Right, so I want to head to that taxi down there. Which is weird, because we haven't actually used the taxi very much. I wonder if there are, like, a lot of other areas that we just haven't been to. Uh, I should probably also save before we go on the taxi. Just in case, you know. Might be useful. Cool. Right, over here, and... Taxi! Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, take it. So I want to go to the Tokyo Pier, which is the one place that we cannot go um, by walking. So first time at the pier. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, hello. Very nice for him to wait for us. Ah, so that's fighting. And zoom out. It's really not an awful lot else here. Check around the corner. Yeah, okay, maybe there's more in the daytime. 
Check over this way. We can fish. Can we speak to this guy who's fishing? And we can also fish there. Let's fish here. Sure. Sea f Wait, that says sea fishing. I assume it says sea fishing over here as well. Yeah. Just thought I'd double check. Yeah, let's do some fishing. We bought some bait. I don't really understand fishing. But we'll see. Info. Select a topic. Basic controls. <laughs> Move. Cast your line with that. Press A to cast. A to cast. When a fish bites, it will start pulling on the sinker. As soon as the red mark on the sinker enters the water, press A to pull. I see. Bait some poles. Uh, I actually want to go back to that because I didn't mean to skip. Uh, scatter bait to attract more fish. Uh, even some rare fish may appear. Okay, so bait isn't on your hook. It's just something you scatter. Got it. How readily the fish bite depends on which fishing pole you're using. Some poles also enable you to cast your line farther. Okay. Let's try this. Start fishing. So I want to pick a fish. Oh my lord, you see that fish on the left there? Hmm. The world's largest fish. It is completely uninterested. Let's try a small fish. Hmm. Yeah, I'm on. So I gotta wait for the red bits to go into the water. <laughs> got it. <laughs> Not hooked. What? The red bit? Uh, maybe I was too quick. Hmm. Yeah, it's not interested, huh? Fair enough. How do we scatter bait? I know that we have some. Yes. Uh, okay, let's try this here. I can just wait, I suppose. It's fine. Bring it back. Oh, it, it, it got... Right, I was too... I wasn't patient enough. So the fish is now gone as well. Right, out here. Let's see what happens. We're going for a small fish. So now we just chill. We just relax. He'll be here soon. It's a relaxing time, fishing. Very relaxing. Where are you going, fish? If you're relaxing time. Nope. 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 Is it is it is it looking at us? I'm thinking it might be. Right, nope. Alright, next fish. I'm gonna chuck it right to the back. We're gonna go for a huge fish. Hmm. Big fish, it's time. You see the bait. <laughs> Did I get it? So I went, I hooked it. Alright, now what do I do? Press B. Why? Oh my lord! I caught a great white shark! What the hell? Alright, um. Okay. That was unexpected, if I'm honest with you. So you have to get it in between the two markers on the red thing. That's the bit I was missing. Like, it's fine. So I was trying to get it when it was completely submerged. I don't think that was right. Yeah, that was that was no good. I'm I, I'm with you. That was no good. All right over here. Let's go for it. Hey, fishy, 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 fishy. Hey, fishy, 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 fishy. Yay! You just want to take the bait. There's no problem, fish. Just take the bait. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, I'm on. 
Don't, don't, don't slowly sidle away from me. Oh, it's coming closer. It's interested. It's going right at it. It's going right, right in into the. Okay, what are you doing? You, you just, you chilling? You not, you not really that bothered, huh? All right. I don't know what we did wrong, but we did it wrong. I'm... Oh, I'm gonna scatter some more bait. Yeah. Our bait was about to run out, and we also are out of fish. Oh, there we go. Let's get ourselves another great white shark. Come on. Come on. Let's look the other way. Okay. Let's, um... Chuck this in over here. That looks hmm. perfect. Maybe I'm going too far back. Maybe it can't see it. If I go, like, if it's too far back, maybe it needs to go a little further out. Oh, no, this one could. It's very hard to tell where the water is. There we go. I got it. Got it, I think. It's Sea Bream! It's big! Alright. And again. That one's not far enough. Tell you that f for starters. Let's chuck this here. That looks okay. Okay, so that's above the fish, so therefore it can't see it. Got it. Let's try this again. So we're going like here. Hmm. I think it, oh, we got it, okay. So I need to look at the red bit and see where we're on it, where the water goes to. Got it, okay. Use. Oh, my pressing. I think I got it. It's a marlin. It's super big sized. Nice. I think that's good. I think I'm happy. More fishing. Yes. More fishing. You know, I don't hate this fishing minigame. I hate a lot of fishing minigames. This one, it's okay. I think I need to aim like back here. I want it to drop in front of the fish. Maybe? Actually, it doesn't seem to ma matter where I drop it. Yeah. It seems to choose its own spot. Like, you choose the rough area, and then it chooses, like, a quadrant for that to be in. Sorry, I just need to check something here. That is a fish back here. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I, I, I'd quickly check on my screen whether that was uh, a piece of dirt or a fish. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. It's fishing time. You want to turn red? You just want to... I'm just a tasty fish for you to eat. The fish It's probably not fish. A worm for you to eat. Come over here. Don't go further. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. No, no, no. Where are you going? Why are you not biting? Look, I'm. It's right here. You, it's right here. You can just. You can get. You can go for it. It's right in front of you. It couldn't be more in front of you. I'll just keep waiting. All right. Let's try again. No, come back here. All right, big fish. Big fish are easy because um, I think their um, field of view is larger. Come on. Don't do this to me, big fish. All right, we're gonna put the fish here or the bait here. Oh, there we go. 
Perfect. <laughs> Got it. Alright, what do I tap? Yes. Did I get it? Yes, it's a super big size marlin again. Okay. Um, I think we'll do three more fish. Sure. Hmm. Chuck it out here. That looks pretty good, I'd say. It's weird that catching the smaller fish isn't easier. <laughs> like, is that not the way it goes? Are smaller fish not generally easier to catch? They, see, they just seem completely uninterested. Maybe it is a hitbox thing, like I said before. Like, maybe it's a, like... Maybe there's a wider area for the big fish to see. And the small fish, you have to be precise. I don't know. Nope, it's not interested. Okay. Let's try it again. I'm going to try this one all the way back here on the edge of the range. I'm going to see if the more pronounced ones, like the ones that have the bigger, uh, like the clearer outline are better. Okay, fuzzy outline fish. Turn red. Mm, neither of you are interested. Yep, okay. Alright, La last try. So this is a fish, this is the tail, front, so I think if I drop this here, maybe I'm dropping it too close. So that's, that's far enough away that it could potentially do something. Okay, I'll wait, it'll come closer. Just thinking about it, doing a little search pattern. It's going completely past it, but that's okay. Maybe it'll turn red in a second as it turns around, it slowly rotates. Come on, just rotate clockwise a little bit. You can see it. I might need to go buy better stuff for my fish. Maybe it's because I have no bait anymore. It's just not, it's not even thinking about it, right? Yep, it's not even thinking about it. Hmm, so you need to get the perfect uh, throw out. All right, let's see this one, right? So if the water's coming in like that, I reckon if I chuck this here, hmm. we'll be good. Let's see. Is that correct? Mm, doesn't appear to be. Maybe I'm doing it incorrectly. Maybe you need to be a lot closer to the fish. And that's why the big fish work. So maybe I need to be like this. Hmm. That literally drop it on the fish. No? That also does not work. Like that fish... Should, oh, there we go. No, that does work. You do need to be closer. I see. Got it. Alright, tapping buttons. I do tapping buttons. Okay, it requires a lot less. You see, the press thing was a lot smaller there, so I think it needs less. I think it needs less tapping. So if I do this, I think we're gonna catch this fish. That was maybe too close, but let's see. I think because it was moving, it was bad. Mm, waiting, waiting. There's still a chance it could turn. Like if it drifts backwards, there's a chance that this works. Come on. It's right there. Mm, maybe? Maybe? Oh? Look at that. It's going right for it. Then right through it. Okay. Don't really understand this bit, but that's okay. I'm giving it one last chance. 
Let's see. Let's see if it spots it. Three, two, one. Don't think it's gonna spot it. Think I'm gonna pull it back in. Oh, never mind. It did spot it. Got it. Hooped. Got it. It's a big size flounder. Wonderful. I think I'm one fit in my three fish. I got one last fish to get. So let's go right here and try it. We're sitting still. That's pretty good in terms of a throw. But let's see. Oh yeah, that was that was I was right. That was pretty good. We immediately got it. Okay. Cool. That'll do. So we probably want to upgrade our fishing gear at some point, but that should be enough for the guy. Hello there. I wish to learn how to punch things. Ah, Kiryu, so you showed up after all. Uh. Yeah, I got curious about the training you mentioned. Glad you remembered. I can't trust a word that old drunk says, really. Hey, I'm not like him. <laughs> oh, relax, I'm just messing with you. Shall we get started? Sure. Uh. I'm all ears. My training method is simple. Just grab whatever you can, swing it around, and throw it until everything's smashed to hell. Oh, I can do that. Sounds like you're just taking your frustration out on things, but I guess there's got to be more to it than that. Does this help you impound furniture when you go collect? Ooh. Pretty much. It takes muscle and explosive force to grab heavy objects and swing them around quickly. This gives you the oomph you need. Uh. I see. No taking your time with it either. You have to be under pressure as if it's a real situation or there's no point in to the training. Mm. Real situation? You mean when collecting a debt? I guess you're pretty used to a rough time. <sighs> hey, don't ask like you don't know. I may even call on you to help me out sometime. Nani? Oh, you want me to go out and collect for you? Let's not jump any guns here. I, first, I want you to do this training to get a feel for it, alright? Uh. Yeah, got it. We'll start with a primer. This way. I'm ready. The mannequins are filled with play money, which bursts out when you break them. The boxes have money in them too. You have to smash all the mannequins before time runs out and recover a set amount of money. You good to start? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh. Let's do it. 120 seconds, no problem. I'm ready. Go. Grab that. Okay, grab this. And go for it. All right. Keep slamming into him. Keep going. Okay. That was good. I forgot how much money I needed, but that's okay. Was it two million yen? I need to destroy all the mannequins anyway, so. Right. Nice. Cool. Grab this one. Grab it again. Okay. And last swing. Okay. Uh, 
Just keep slamming into him. Right. Take wooden crate. Go for it. All right, and oh, plenty of time left, huh? Plenty, of, plenty of time left. What do you think? Pretty tough training, right? Uh. Yeah, I haven't done anything like this before. That'll make it even harder next time. Be ready. Uh. Great. And by the way, I have to ask you if you uh, ask you to pay if you want to keep going with this. I can only do so much charity work. Uh. Understood. All right, let's do this again. Hello. Uh. Right, I'd like to do training. Which training will you take on? Training number one, one million yen? Or 100,000 yen, sure. Let's go. So I think I'm gonna use A to dash. Yeah, I think using A to dash back helps quite a lot. And then positioning before you throw the box helps a lot as well. Yeah, over here. Right. Yeah, messing up one's really bad. That's okay. Grab this. Nice. Okay. Dash, dash. Again, grab this. Nice. Yep. If you can destroy a mannequin, just destroy it. Okay. Grab that. Nice. What's nice about this training is I am actually getting better at using the class. Yeah, there we go. Look how much better that was than the first time. Okay, grab this. No, 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 no. Nice. Yeah, we saved, uh, yeah, we saved 11 seconds. That's not too bad. Not bad. You get in the hang of more, a more aggressive fighting style. Here's a little something for you. Take it. I got the Tatsu brand drink. Okay. Uh, what does that do? Charges up your heat dramatically. Oh, okay. Uh, just because I don't want to run out of space in my inventory. Uh, I'd like to discard the bait. Thank you. Hello. Uh. I wish to do the second beast mode training. So first one I think is what we already did. Let's do this one. Target's 2 million yen. Oh right, so the first one the target was only a million yen. Oh, okay. Well, this is fine then. Oh, but it's larger. Okay, I see. What? He shoots you? What the? Got it. Right, so that should make life easier. Right, grab this. Nice. Nice. Alright, big box. That's the small box, but you, we'll get there eventually. Nice, okay. Next box. Yeah. 
Garnum. <laughs> Almost got that one. We only need 2 million yet. Okay. Nice. Big box, big box, big box. There we are. Nice. We did it. They're all down, we made the money. No problem. <laughs> Not bad. I got a Tatsu brand, brand drink. Did that not unlock any abilities? So how do I unlock these? Hello. You must be getting bored of all this training. Let's talk about those real situations I mentioned at the start. Uh, yeah, sure. Basically, I'm going to ask you to help me collect on some scum suckers who owe me big money. I'll give you a target. Use what you learn to get it done. Got uh, it? I see one thing though. What, you gonna chicken out now? Yeah. No, I just wanted to know why you don't do this yourself. Well, I just got a little too notorious for my own good. Mm. What do you mean? Lately I've been running into this problem where my targets already know I'm coming, so I get there and they've already flown the coop, or worse, they're aiming guns at the door. I'm good, but I'm only good while I'm breathing, so if I get jobs that I catch a whiff of stank on, I'm gonna send you. Nobody knows you just yet. I get it. You must have really made a name for yourself. <sighs> it's a pain in the ass. Anyway, I'm sure once the real battles start, your training will pay off. You'll no doubt learn a few new moves along the way as well. And I'll even let you keep all the money you collect. How's that for a little incentive? Uh. Oh, sounds good. I might take you up on that sometime. Cool. I would like the job, please. Uh. Uh, jobs. Yes. Uh. Yeah, I'm in. Let me tell you who you're up against. The target is a guy called Tetsuya the Gigolo. He couldn't make do with the money from the girls he lives off, so he's been taking out loans he's never going to pay back. Then once the loan shark seemed drowning, he foists the loans on some unlucky lady and moves on to the next gullible floozy. Scum of the earth, basically. Mm. And why would this one be a job for me? <gasps> well, this is your first job, so I figured we'd start with someone easy to handle. Besides, guys like him just end up pissing me off too much. I see. I figure this'll be a cinch, but remember, he'll do anything it takes to get away. If you slip up, you could get yourself killed. You ready for this? Yeah, sure. Uh. Yeah, I'm ready. Alright, let's go. Ooh, we just go straight into it. I was expecting her to give us a location and us to go, but no, this is fine. Let's see it. Tetsuo the Gigolo, I take it. Mm hmm? Huh, is that what they're calling me out there? The only thing they're going to be calling me out there is Tetsuya the dead asshole if you don't give me what you owe. Do that and I'm gone. Mm -hmm. Ah, you're Miss Tatsu, aren't you? I've heard all about you. I was picturing a broad built like a gorilla. And who's this guy? He your pimp? Yeah, and he's ten times better at it than you'll ever be. Mm -hmm. When did I become a pimp? <laughs> Zip it. You're here to put the screws on this loser. <laughs> hey, you two done with your little circus act? This meat sack could put the screws on a plank, much less me. You think so? You're about to see what it feels like to get screwed. Mess him up, Kiryu. I'm ready. Ow. Oh, that works. Nice. Ow. Oh, that'll do. Good work, Kiryu. You see the look on that guy's face? He'll think twice before he gets into any more mischief. Uh. Yeah, I hope you're right. He didn't look like a quick learner, though. 
All that just means you were way too nice to the guy. If it be me, well, nice isn't in my vocabulary. You still have a lot to learn. I may ask you to help me again if something else comes up. Come back when you want to train. Oh yeah, I got the money I collected as a reward, and I learned the guarded weapon charge skill. Ooh, what does that do? Um, guarded weapon charge. So, where is that? Is it this one? Okay. Charge forward holding a large weapon with your guard up. Oh, okay. So we can actually get that one right now as well. We can also get Golden Fist, which we haven't already got. Yeah, sure, I'll grab that. Why not? Sounds good to me. Uh, it was only two million. Uh, yeah, let's do the next one. Hey. Uh. I like a job. I don't have any jobs for you. Oh, okay. Uh, why is that? Let me have a look. Um, I don't know why she doesn't have any jobs. She should have that one, right? Maybe that's not the next one on the list. Maybe the next one on the list is like this is like this one, maybe. I don't know. Like maybe this is the last one on the list. Hmm, not sure. Anyway, uh, we can leave now. Oh wait, do we have to do training? Uh. Yeah, we have to do training. I see. Right, never mind. Uh, let's quickly have one of these. Uh, and one of these. Oh, that's the wrong one. They all... I want toughness, not Torriner. Oops. Hello. Uh. Right. That's who's training? Hello. Uh, I want to do the 2.5 million one. Cost a million to do, but that's okay. We have a lot of money. Right. So what I want to do is do this to start with. I don't want him to be able to charge me. Got him. Nice. Nice. Egg box. Wonderful. Ooh, what's this small box? It's a small wooden box, I guess. Over here. Grab it. Right, get him. Nice. And right in here. Wonderful, we already made our money, so now we just need to destroy the mannequins, which you should be able to do. That's okay. And then grab this. Got him. Hey, minute and a half left. It was pretty good. Thank you. Hello. Uh. Yes, I'd like to do one more training session, please. Uh, that one. Yeah, no problem. Right, so. <sighs> we have multiple people with guns, so I'm going to have to deal with for. Oh, wait, are they the... Hit him. Nice. Cool. Over here. Grab that. There we go. Just chuck that into the wall. Nice. I didn't destroy it. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Over here. Yeah, this one needs to go. Nice. Oh, we got more uh, completion points. Oh, that's it. 
Nice, we're done. Cool. Red box is worth a ton of money. Got it. Hello. Uh. So let me just check. I don't have any more training, right? No. Okay, never mind. Take me back one menu. Okay, never mind. Uh. Uh, jobs? Yeah, let's do it. Target is known as Demoto the Runaway. He has this nasty tendency to hop on a boat or a plane when his debtors call. He's been on the run from collectors for 20 years now. Miss mm. Tatsu, why does it have to be me? Mm. This one's got my name written all over it. He'd see me coming from a mile away and be halfway to some remote jungle by the time I got there. It's gotta be you. Uh. I get it. Remember, this is life and death for him, so don't go getting yourself killed. You ready for this? Oh, of course, no problem. Uh. Yeah, I'm ready. Alright, I'll go handle some business then. Or go handle some business then. Okay. Shouldn't be a problem. Oi. You're the motto of the runaway, right? Hmm? Yeah, I want it to you. You better have a gam damn good reason for bothering me. I came on behalf of Miss Tatsu. I'm here to get back the money you owe. Uh. On her behalf? Uh, she got cold or something? Yeah. None of your business. Hurry up and hand over the money. Uh? Damn it, that bitch must have a sixth sense. Just when I had uh, the muscle all ready to take care of her. Oh, no. Ah, well. Hey, te come teach this puffed up amateur not stick his nose where it doesn't belong. Okay, well, I mean, we'll beat him up too. Don't really have an issue with that. Yep. Just lay into him. Hey, you know what? Oh my lord, what's that move? I love it. The the full body, um, like, I don't even know what to say. Hey. Oh, he's dead. Oh, okay. Hey, meet table. Oh, just straight up dead. And I got 10 million yen for it. No problem. Hello. I got the money back. Good to see you're back in one piece. Well done. Did that flighty bastard have anything tucked in his panties for me? Uh. Yeah, he hired some muscle to rough you up, but I took them out. So that was his plan, huh? Well, here I was thinking he had a bullet of my name on it. If I'd known that, I would have gone and wiped the floor of him myself. Nanny. A bullet? Hey, that sounds more dangerous than you let on. Boah, you don't have the balls to stand up to someone packing heat? Don't tell me you're a crybaby. Ugh, you're pretty ballsy too, to think you can pull that kind of shit. Maybe I'll ask for your help again if something comes up. You know where to find me. Hey, I have a lot of money and the iron fortitude skill. Don't know what that is, but it sounds good. Right, so I believe that was all the skills I can learn from her right now. Uh, yes, because we have nothing else connecting to an M. Cool. Uh, boost your defense when performing a resist guard. Oh, okay, cool. Hey, take me back. Uh, I want to go to here. And I want to go to my business first, then Sushi Jin. Because I want to go to Sushi Jin afterwards. One, because it'll push us to 100%, and two, because I want to start another collection before I do that. So, uh, save. 100%. We need to save. Right. Uh, no? Why would I save over the same save slot when I can make save slot 69? Right. And over here. All the way up. And then back to our business. We do business things. Not in the alley. We don't do business things in the alley. We do business things in an office, Kiryu. There we go. Right. Um, I'm, I'm guessing we're going to get a money battle here. 45 million yen. Oh, nice. And we get another completion point. Money battle. We won. Nice. Right, 90%. Uh, I actually don't really want to start another one now that I think about it. Um, what I want to do is I want to first of all save because I can. 
and then I want to head to um, the shrine, upgrade our business so we get the next pair quicker, go to Sushi Jin, then come back here. I wanted our money first. That's all I know. Wanted our money first. Right. This way... I think I remember the way to the shrine. I'm starting to get my uh, head around this place and how to navigate. Yeah, I think it's just down here. Although getting unlimited dashing could be useful. Alright, let him just walk normally for a second or two. Right. In here, and... There we are. A business. Get this one. I said another thought. There is somebody else we should go and speak to who is over here somewhere. Because we should go... Uh, I think we're a one-off max friendship with them. And if friendship gets you advisors and things for your business, then that sounds really good, right? No, not that guy. I think it was along here, ignoring the person on the... Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Hello. There is a woman in front of... Yurikutai. Could she be Monmon, Mon, the woman I'm supposed to find? I have to ask her a couple of things to get the password. I suppose she could be. Uh, not right now, though. There's the guy I want to speak to. Oh, hey there, Kiryu-san. Mind if I do another stop and search? Here. Hmm. This is about as safe as it gets. It doesn't look like you're carrying anything dangerous. Here, take this back. Your cooperation is appreciated, Kiryu-san. Why did you join the police anyway? Huh? That was out of the blue. Do you want to know why I became a police officer? Yeah. Well, I uh, always see you here questioning people. It made me wonder if stop and searches are the whole reason you signed up to the force. I, uh, 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 um, um... What? Is it a touchy subject? Actually, I'm ashamed to admit it, but stop and searches are the only thing I'm good for. I can't do anything else. Huh? Mm. What's that mean? When I joined the force, they partnered me with a senior officer. Ooh. New music? This is a sad story, I guess, it, I, I take it? He was great at what he did, and really popular with the other officers. He had my back right from the beginning. Pretty much the ideal cop. Just like the ones you see on TV. I was in awe. Then one day, we stepped in to break up a fight between some drunks. When I pulled them apart, one of them attacked me from behind. My partner moved to protect me, but he got stabbed instead. I must have, it must have hit an artery. Blood was gushing out and he didn't make it. He had my back until the end too. <sighs> Ever since, I've been scared to death of real police work. No matter the task, I just end up a nervous wreck. Now the others in the department just see me as dead weight. I try to stare at the way when I can, so I spend my days here doing stop and searches. Questioning people and searching their belongings is the only thing I have. That's all I can do. Heh, <sighs> sorry to ramble on like this. Thank you for your help. Mm. He's clearly down in the dumps. I guess I opened up an old wound. Can we speak to him again right away? He seems depressed. Oh no. Well, uh, now no, I just feel bad. Right, now we don't want to do any... Okay, I'll beat you guys up. We don't want to do any more tasks. And the reason we don't want to do any more tasks is that we only want to do tasks when we have business things collecting. I gotta say, my one problem with Heat Style is the lack of damage it does per hit. Beast, when you hit somebody. Like, look at that. Their health bar just evaporates. It's crazy. Like, with Heat, you're just, like, doing a thousand taps. Hmm. We, we, we could probably work at... Yeah, there's probably a better way to handle things there, but... Yeah, maybe we need to upgrade Heat to actually get it to do damage per hit. That'd be good. Or maybe he, uh, maybe, um, maybe it really is just meant to, what, what, what am I, what is it, is it called, it's called Rush. Maybe, um, maybe it's just good for generating heat, that style, and you're not meant to use it for proper combat. You're meant to use it to generate your heat so you can then use another style. No, I didn't let go of the button early enough, so we had to do the whole thing. 
Luckily though, it resets your dash completely, so you can just go off. Right. Is this sushi gin? Fantastic. I have I have a great white shark for you. Give fish. Uh, here is a shark. How about this one? Perfect. This will really help me. I'll prepare it right away. Nice. Even healed us. How is it, Kiryu-san? Uh. It's good. <laughs> really? Thank you. I feel like working with fresh caught fish like this really helped me grow. <laughs> Glad I could help. I really appreciate it. If you go fishing again, please bring me your catch. Ooh, nice little increase. Now we're going to turn around and go back in there. I got more fish for you. Don't you worry, I got you your fish. Uh, have the sea bream. Uh. Right. So the exact same thing? If it is, I'll just skip it. Let's see. Uh. <laughs> yeah, exact same. <laughs> right. Another little increase. Back in there again. It's definitely quicker than just buying sushi from them, you know, non-stop. Give fish. I would like to give you a marlin. Uh. It is a supersized marlin, though. Okay. There we go. Uh. It's still good. <laughs> nice. Same scene. Similar increase. Okay, I think we caught enough fish, actually. Yeah, we seem to be getting a similar increase for each fish, so should be fine. And we can top off anything by ordering sushi. Right, I would like to give you another marlin. Uh. This is our first duplicate fish, so maybe he won't like that. Let's see. And... Um, Kiryu-san? It's especially good today. Sorry, it was so good I was at a loss for words. Uh -huh. You had me worried there for a second, but I'm happy to hear you liked it. You're making real progress, Ginji. Your sushi's getting better every time I come. <laughs> I appreciate the encouragement, but it's still nowhere near as good as my old man's sushi. Oi. I mean it, Ginji. It's time you had some confidence in your own skills. Believe in yourself. You think so? Uh. You keep comparing your sushi to what your dad made. I can understand how you wish you were as good as a master chef with the decades of experience under his belt, but that comparison's not fair to you. If you let that comparison hurt your self-confidence, you're just holding yourself back. Uh. Let yourself walk your own path and make sushi the way you want. My own sushi. My dad passed away and the restaurant dropped into my lap. I didn't feel ready. But a day passed without nagging thoughts that maybe I wasn't right for a greenhorn. It wasn't right for a greenhorn like me to be serving customers. I feel like what you just said finally dispelled those worries. It's such a weight off my soul shoulders. Good. I'll follow your advice and find my own path to create the best sushi I can make. Uh. Sounds great. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I can't wait to have you try it, Kiryu-san. Come back soon. <laughs> I will. Ooh. We're almost there. Right, back in. We almost have it. He likes us, and then we're gonna buy his business. And then we're gonna, you know, milk it for all it's worth. This is really good. Mm hmm. Ah, this is probably the best sushi I've ever had. Oh. <laughs> Glad you like it. I've been to too many restaurants, but your sushi is truly exceptional. I've never had anything like it. You put a refreshingly new twist on classic sushi. Well done. He's full of praise for Ginji's sushi. Ginji looks like he's overcome the doubts that were holding him back. So, what's your secret? How do you make sushi that feels traditional and novel at the same time? Well, I, I'm just following advice from a very insightful person. You mean a sushi master? So, what's this advice? He told me to believe in myself. Right, Kiryu-san? Hey, don't drag me into this. Hey. Oh, are you by any chance the sushi master he was talking about? Yeah. Uh, no, you've got the wrong idea. Oi. See what you've got 
got me into Ginji. Or Jinji. Ah ha 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 ha. Oh well. Hey, we've now befriended him. Now, sell me your restaurant. <laughs> now you've got good reputation. Sell it to me. Uh, ah, Kiri-san, sorry for bringing this up out of the blue, but do you work in real estate? Hmm, yeah, I do. How did you know? I'm friends with the manager at Urizaki, actually. He said that business would be much better since you started managing the property for him. I was hoping that maybe you could do the same for me. Would you be interested? Sure, of course. Are you sure about this? Absolutely. It's getting harder and harder to do business here with all those tycoons buying out places and doing as they please in Kamurocho. I acquired Sushi Jin. Although it kind of sounds like I'm just managing it for him and I'm not owning it, but hey, whatever. 95% ownership? I'll take it. I got the Sea Master. A fishing rod, you say? Well, I'm not giving you any of my fish. I, I can sell it now. Yeah, I'm sure someone will buy it. Is Don Quixote's here, right? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, get out of the way, everybody. I just want to go in. Don't don't give me a side quest. <laughs> I just want to sell my fish. Hello. Shop. Wait, can I not sell things at this Don Quixote? I'm a, a, a hundred and fifty out of three hundred talking to people. Points. Yes, I'm not able to sell things. Oh, I guess I'm only able to sell things at the pawn shop. I thought that was the pawn shop, but I just realized they're different places. Wait, is that it down there? That's no, Papa Pawn Shop. There we go. Okay, round here. Pawn shop. Perfect. Uh hey, I know you have a lot of handbags, do you but do you buy fish? I'm looking to sell my fish. Oh, you can sell things that are in the box. Oh, that's cool. Uh, fish sells for an all right, all right amount. Interesting. I'm definitely not selling the diamond plate, though, because that's uh, straight up just takes away the whole business point of the game, but I suppose that's useful for some people. If you don't like the business side of it, you just uh, sell the plate and off you go. Problem solved. Um, we'll head this way. Do a little uh, thing off to the left here. And then uh, we should be just about where we need to be. You know, I'm actually going to say before we go to our office, because I think that the um, there's a very high chance that the Leisure King is going to come and say hello to us. This is also the last thing that we need to do for the business right now. So, we'll see. Right. In we go. There we go. Mr. President! What's going on? The Leisure King's men came by and left this. What's this? Looks like a challenge. He says he's waiting for you on his turf. His turf. Mm. Knowing him, I'd reckon he's trying to settle this through violence. It's a trap. I wouldn't go if I were you. Yeah. No, I'm going. If he wants to use violence to settle things, that's fine by me. It what? Uh, oh, um, well, please be careful. The Leisure King's turf is the empty bit er area behind Serena. I should get ready before I go. When you've received an open challenge from one of the five billionaires, your property's revenue collection will stop. Defeat the billionaires to collect your revenues again. Well, I mean, obviously we're going to have to do that. Let's save the game. And we're going to do that next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then. Goodbye.